Welcome back to another episode of the Android Power User, the Pocket Now series where we learn less about the frilly stuff and more about the nuts and bolts, the terminology and the concepts behind Android. We learn the stuff that helps us understand all of the other cool frilly things that you might read elsewhere and why they work the way they do. Today we're going to talk about the system image, which is something very, very near and dear to my heart. It's something that when we talk about custom ROMing, that's the thing. Let's get right to it. Android is made up of a couple different images. Now, what are images? We talked a little bit about that last time in the last episode. We talked about uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, and more specifically, the recovery image. Well, there's also a boot image and a system image. The three of them kind of work together to make everything work. Find out more about the recovery image, go back and watch last week's episode. I'll have a link for you at the end of this video. Today we're going to focus on the system image. What it is, what it does, why we have it, what it's good for, and, well, kind of what we'd have to do without if it weren't around. So let's jump right into that. What is an image? An image is essentially just a collection of stuff in a certain configuration. If you like that fancy terminology? Computer stuff, files, settings, yada, yada, yada. The image comprises, in this case, the system image, everything that you need to run the operating system. So let's compare this to Windows or Mac. The system image is Windows or Mac. You boot up your computer, it goes through boot, sound familiar? Once it's booted up, it boots into that system image. Then you have Windows, you have your kernel, you have your programs, you have your wallpaper, you have everything that you've configured. On Mac, it's the same thing. On Linux, it's the same thing, and well, since Android is essentially Linux, there you go. When you boot your Android up, you're booting into the system image. That's where all of your settings are. So, why do we have it? We want to run stuff. I know I had to throw that in there. When you get your device from the factory, it comes with what's called a factory image. It's exactly the way that the factory wants it to be. Who's the factory in this case? Well, that's the OEM, whether that's Samsung, Motorola, HTC, LG, any of the other guys, or the carrier, Sprint, T-Mobile, Orange, O2, any of those guys. And usually they work together to customize, there's my air quotes, customize the image to do what they want. They don't just want it to run, they want it to be able to collect information, uh, they want it to be able to sell you products and services that you may otherwise not have known about. We call that bloatware over here at pocketnow.com and it's the bane of our lives. We don't like it, we like to remove it and hey, since we're Android power users and we know how all this stuff fits together, we can do that. So, since all of that is built and kind of cooked into the system image, can we get in there and remove stuff and change stuff? Not easily, unfortunately. With the right tools and the right permissions, super user and root, we can go in and change system files. We can remove system files. Bloatware, unfortunately, are system files blows me away that they'd make some NFL TV app that you can only watch for one season, a system image that you can't remove. But maybe I'm just odd. Let me know down in the comments if you would. Thanks, great. So what we can do is we can modify that system image with the right tools, the right permissions, or we can replace it altogether. That's where we get into custom ROMs, like Cyanogen Mod ROM, like AOKP, like uh, you name it. Let us know your favorite ROM down in the comments down below at pocketnow.com. We can replace that whole thing. It replaces the kernel. It replaces the wallpaper. It replaces the operating system. It has more bloatware or less bloatware. It has some apps that you need and some apps that you might not. Whatever you want to do depends on who cooked this ROM and put it all together for you, and you can replace it. That's what it is. That's what it does. That's where custom ROMing really comes into play. And because Android is separated out into these separate images, all we have to do is flash one file. We can wipe out everything that was there before, replace it with whatever you want, boot back up, and you have a brand new Android experience. 
all thanks to the system image. Kind of a short topic for today, but we do most of our work inside the system image. We just didn't know about it. So now you know. When you're backing up stuff, that's one of the important ones that you really want to back up so you don't lose all of your configurations. Otherwise, you got to go back and reconfigure it all. So if you have questions, if you have comments, if you want to answer any of the questions that we pose to you in this episode, please head over to pocketnow.com. I'll have a link right down there if you're watching this video on YouTube. So you can head over to the website, answer it there. We'll kind of keep the discussion there. That's where I'll be answering your questions. Can we get you taken care of? I hope so. So give us a big thumbs up. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to our video channel that you do that. I'll have a link for you at the end of this video as well. For Pocket Now, talking about Android and helping us all understand the nuts and bolts of it, I'm Joe Levi.